Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I am great. Pumpkin, we gotta fix this lighting, girl. It's better now I can see you, Pumpkin. Pumpkin, look. It's your eggs. I may have put these in a bag with some catnip. Do you want your eggs? Oh, don't be scared. Yeah, it's okay. That was my fault. I didn't think they'd fall out like that. I'm so sorry. You okay? Hey, you're a brave little toaster. My bad. I just thought you'd be able to give him a sniff. It's okay, Bunkin. Everything's okay. Yeah, Pumpkin likes playing with her Easter eggs. Can I help you? My goodness, Tucker, get out of there. So, just a heads up. Um, this week's vlog's pretty all over the place, which isn't too unusual, but I've actually <laughs> finished editing it, and I was like, um, this is like a lot, even for me, for being all over the place. I didn't do anything, really, this week. It's all just little things. I've just been, well, I don't want to show too much. Here, let's look at Tucker for a second here. Uh, it's been a lot of cleaning not very exciting things you know just like everybody else i'm staying at home and this is a weird time of year it's kind of like the waiting game trying to get through things and basically it's not quite warm enough to plant though it was for a couple days but that's useless if it's not going to stay warm there isn't much to do with the house plants either other than just keeping them watered and stuff like that they're just waiting to come outside in a few weeks so like I said, it's just been like cleaning and tidying and we kept having storms blowing everything over. So what I figured I would do to start things off, just so that there's like a little bit of consistency here, is I have like a little spring planter I've wanted to do and I was going to do it as a video to come out uh, the day after this one, but that just, it's so simple that I don't think it warrants its own video. I have this mug here. It's just a big blue mug. And then I have some like, I don't know if they're Easter spring decor, you just saw them. Pumpkin likes to play with them. They're just eggs. Some sheet moss here and then a really cute little pansy down here. So I was thinking like let's just toss this together see how it looks and play around with things. I just think it'd be nice to have something with a little bit of color just something kind of cute and you know mugs that's something everybody has. This one is it's very generously large. <laughs> I got this with the intention of putting a plant in it but sometimes you know just do things that are like sweet and simple and i am this is way too much sheet moss yeah i don't need anywhere near that much i'm gonna go ahead and drop that down to some water to soak just so it's a little bit more pliable and easy to work with and then i'm just gonna pop a pansy in a mug i had to dump those eggs out what i was getting ready to say is that you know, typically you would want drainage right but mugs don't have holes in the bottom because that would defeat the purpose i drilled a hole in the bottom of this one if you don't have the capability of doing that, then putting a hefty layer of pumice or bark or just really anything, packing peanuts, something like that. I always save my packing peanuts that way they're not going back out into the environment, into the recycling. Because even if they're recycling, I feel like they blow around and go all over the place. Because gardeners, we can use those in the bottoms of our pots. So I just use them for that, make sure to purpose them. But the whole point is just to have a hefty layer down here for water to settle so that the bottom of the root ball isn't going to be in contact with that because then it will rot. Again, I have a hole in this, so I'm not really worried about that. But if you're just using a regular mug and you have a plant, heck, you could even dig up some grass. I know that sounds kind of weird and ridiculous, but you know, with all this staying at home the way we are right now, I don't think that that's like the worst idea. I think that like a little coffee mug with some grass in it would actually be pretty freaking cute, but uh, maybe a little bit hazardous. You don't know what chemicals are on there. So if you have pets, that would be something to kind of watch out for. Still want to keep it away from them. And I can already tell I put way too much soil in that mug. Yeah, this pansy's rooted in there pretty well. I don't need anywhere near that much soil. Oops. Well, that is just barely the right height. In fact, it's actually, it's just a little bit too short. Why isn't it in focus? It's kind of in focus. Hope that wasn't blurry the whole time. I'm sorry if it was. It is just a little bit too high. I'm not really that worried about this. This is very temporary and I kind of wanted there to be a little bit of an edge because I want to put the moss around here. 
I was thinking if I had a viola or something that was much smaller, I would just put that back here in this corner and then put some of those filler eggs in front of it on top of that moss. That would have been so stinking cute. But uh, I don't I don't think there's room for that in here. I'll give it a try though. Oh, look at this. Can you see it? Three plants in here, obviously. I don't know why that didn't occur to me. I divide things up all the time. Didn't even occur to me to go ahead and just split this up. Perfect. Have your cake and eat it too. That'll fit in there and then I can put a little bit. Of, well, just do it. I went ahead and moved it to the middle, but still with some space in the front because having it off center over here, that just, that really wasn't working for me. All right, I'm just going to come back here, grab some of this moss, wring it out a little bit. I mostly just soaked this so it would be a little bit more pliable. Makes it a little bit easier to get it to be a little bit more consistent when you're trying to fill a space in. You can get little pieces off like this one right here and tuck them away more easily without them sticking up and being kind of obnoxious. I do want this to kind of come over the edge a little bit though so I might go ahead and pull this out and fluff it up a little bit. Here we go. See how that's kind of coming over the edge there? That's kind of what I want because it's a mug, right? It's a mug full of plants. Doesn't have to do that across the entire thing, but just in a couple spots will make it look a little bit more whimsical, I think. Especially since I'm going to put some eggs in there, which are going to cover up that moss a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I do. I want to remember to water this in. Should have done that before putting the moss on top. That was just, I got excited, got ahead of myself. All right, so that's had a hefty drink and go ahead and throw some eggs in here. Pop one back there, little yellow one to the side of that one. Throw in a blue egg, of course, but more in the back. That might, hmm. I say it's probably overkill, but it, I think it would look nice to have one of each color in here. I'm going to try my best to keep it random because if I don't, it's going to drive me absolutely crazy trying to establish a pattern when there's no pattern to even establish. Okay, I had to stop myself. Like, you know how people joke about how people spend a long time trying to make their hair look like they didn't do anything to it? Well, that's what just happened here with me and the eggs. So I was like, you know what? Just stop. It's fine. When I pick this up and move it, those are going to go flying all over the place anyways. And then I'll settle them back down in their own random pattern doesn't matter it's just supposed to be simple quick cute and easy and that's what i got here i love this pansy it's an assorted pansy from the stores but the majestic giants are supposed to have larger flowers and these do have very very big flowers that are currently all facing the wrong direction for this camera angle i'm so sorry okay, quick simple dumb spring cute the what would you please Show yourself off for the camera, hanging up there looking at the sky. No point to it other than just several weeks of something cute. I'll probably leave this out here for now just because it's a nice cloudy day. As the sun gets more intense, I don't think I'm going to want these plasticky eggs here sitting out in the sun. So I'll probably pull them out. But I think this is pretty cute even without them. I've had them outside before in spring planters I've done in the past. And uh, if it gets hot and the sun's strong, these, these will melt. So I'll pull those out if it gets sunny. But just for now, I was like, hey, this is cute. It's a nice little pop of color. Could even do this inside without the pansy. Pansies I might do okay inside if you have a lot of light. But regardless, like, I don't even think you need that. I think that if you just have a mug, throw some fake eggs. And I, this isn't a time to be going out and buying stuff. I've seen a lot of people doing fun, crafty things where they're, like, painting rocks and doing all sorts of things. Like I said, I mean, even sticking some grass in a mug. I know that sounds weird, but there's just something that would be kind of cute in a cute because it's really dumb and pointless kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Get you outside, give people something to do. Freaking adorable, right? Okay, well, <laughs> with that done, just having some fun. Wanted to get something planted, get something colorful going for spring. And uh, th from this point on in the vlog, it's just, it's going to be random chaos. Lots of clips of things that don't really have anything to do with each other. I bathed the dogs, I cleaned a fountain, I made a pizza kind of made a pizza i mean i did well i did make a pizza but it wasn't like in one swoop it was like hey i made dough and then 10 minutes later i make the pizza with a whole bunch of other things happening in between welcome to my channel there's a pandemic going on sometimes we just gotta go with the flow and be adaptable okay please right it's just the way it is taking it easy over here so i hope everybody's doing well and uh, having a great day wait no no i'm not saying goodbye let's jump off into the vlog now we'll start giving toby a bath he was really nasty Hey Tobes, hey Tobes, y you need a bath, you disgusted Toby. Toby sheds like a buffalo, can you see it? Look at it, that's all the chunks that are coming off because I'm going through and I'm firm, why are you hiding? Come back out, nobody can see you. See how it just, there's so much, there's so, yeah, you think you're good, it's, you don't, Tucker, I don't know why he's acting like he's excited because he does not like being brushed. Toby 
enjoys it. He likes the personal attention in getting a bath and all that fun stuff. And I know Ferminators can be kind of harsh. I don't push down very hard when I'm doing this, like, at all. I'm just trying to get some of that top coat out. Jeez, Toby. Oh my goodness, you're so nasty, Toby. It's kind of nice, though, the way he sheds in chunks, because it doesn't just go over the house. It's something where I can just come outside, like, I don't know, once a week for a few weeks while he's shedding, and brush him gently he gets the ferminator and then he gets a normal brush and then I also use a curry comb on him because it, he's like a horse the curry comb helps loosen up the hair and more of it comes out and then you gonna get a bath right Toby how did this happen uh, just outdoors enjoying the beautiful weather and bathing the dogs there'll be plant things happening eventually but it's a vlog like I have no plans for this week we're just gonna see what I feel like doing and I'll take y'all along with me have I ever mentioned Toby is by far the easiest dog to bathe like any dog he doesn't like when you get near his face but otherwise he's just like all right this is this is what's happening right now we'll get you all squeaky clean you can go shake off and roll around in some dirt Sounds about right. He was so good. Little does he know there's still another moisturizing conditioner, but I'm gonna let him have a few minutes to enjoy his freedom. I think you earned it, didn't you, Toby? Look at you. You. Oh, watch your head. All right, bye, Toby. You got water on my lens. Go shake off some more, please, please. No, no he's such a good boy. Look at you. You look so skinny. You got so skinny getting all that hair off of you. Yep, go celebrate. Really, Toby? It's I've been like. 30 seconds and you already got slobber on your face why you nasty hey tucker it's your turn oh boy tucker likes baths this should be pretty easy right tuck right tuck what are you doing down there that's not going to be great for the vlog tucker likes baths you about to get a shower tucker you excited for some spa time maybe not i don't know he's gotten older oh look at that toby butt hey tobes you can say Look at you, you squeaky clean. You're nice and fluffy. I probably should have turned the TV off before hitting record, shouldn't I? It's actually the next day. You can't see anything that's happening. Great quality stuff here. Hi, Tobes. Ready to go back outside? You're nice and dry now. Yeah, next day. I had to, you know, I had to edit a video. It should be out soon. Well, not soon for you. In the past for you. Yeah, let's go. It's still so nice out. There's only one day left of nice. You got itchies? only one day left of nice and I want to go outside water some plants well I don't really know what there's no plan for today do we need to clean your ears you need an ear cleaning I think you need an ear cleaning and no I have not left the house this cup is from like late February I just like to have something with a lid on it because going outside and the bugs and then in the garage the bugs is there a date on no <laughs> that's toast can't believe the straw's still holding on I have disposable not disposable, reusable straws, but the when I went to Starbucks, I want to say it was late February. Actually, it might have been like March 1st. It's the last time I've had or gone through a drive through period. No, it was March 2nd. Anyways, yeah, the, I didn't have a straw with me, but it's held on very well. I'm, I apologize to all of the reusable... I'm so sorry, turtles. Not there, really, There's not a lot of sea turtles in the Midwest, but still, you know, better to reuse than... How did we get? I'm going outside. Oh, you just had your first swim of the year and I missed it. Got the camera too late. Why don't you go back in? Makes sense. Just had a bath. Why not go for a swim? Well, I've been out here, like I think I mentioned, it's like 89 degrees and absolutely beautiful, but here's the upcoming forecast. You see, look at, look at that. That's, I can't do anything out here. It's gonna get cold again. So I've just been watering. I mean, it would be a bad thing if it were to be this warm <laughs> in April consistently. I mean, it's not usually this warm in April period here. So 89 degrees, I will take it and just enjoy it. I just spent roughly an hour and a half watering plants, which was actually very nice and therapeutic. But, but as far as projects are concerned, it's still kind of in the waiting area need things to get a little bit nicer first nicer it's very very nice out right now but like consistently nice where they're not going to be like hey it might snow next week can't really plant things when that's going on i can't <laughs> take care of the giant mulch pile the bananas are probably very confused as to why i have not freed them yet they don't know it's for their own protection it's going to get cold again here in a few days uh i don't know why that chair's sitting there yeah, i have another fountain i could clean out needs a good scrub but again i don't really see why i would do that right now when it's spring and there's stuff falling and junk going all over the place and if i wait two weeks then i won't have to dump it and clean it again so i don't really know what to do 
we'll figure something out. It's supposed to start storming here in a little bit, and that's when the cold front's going to move in. There's only a 40% chance of rain though. That's why I made sure to water anyways. You can't trust the forecast. I did kind of consolidate things over here a little bit better so that it would be easier to stay on top of watering. And then when the cold comes in, it'll be easier to throw them onto a cart and move them back inside. But really, I mean, I think I would move the banana. That will go in. And then probably the Supertunia Vista bubble gums, the Heliotrope, the Verbena. Okay, the Bacop, okay, pretty much all of the annuals except for the lettuce. I will probably move in. The anemone could probably stay out, but that's about it. Yeah, I think everything else, New Guinea and Patience, Lobelia, yeah, those will have to go in. But the windmill palms can stay out, so I'm not worried about them. Same thing with the mule palms, they're tough. They've been out here, I think, down to 13 degrees and had snow and ice on them on multiple occasions. They don't care about it dropping into the 30s. That won't be a problem. Heck, even the queen palms have been out here pretty cold temperatures. I might lay them on their side if it gets that cold. That would probably be something to talk about next week when that cold weather rolls in. It's going to be chilly here for like one night. I'm not really that worried about that. They're saying 35. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so maybe we'll just pick up here tomorrow so that I have a better look at what's going on with the weather. I don't know. I left that hanging there to be a warning to all the other cookies that try and f*** with me. Anyways, so I'm trying to make pizza dough, and, um, I don't know, I've never used the proof set in the oven. That's all, we'll see how that goes. I'm supposed to cover it? I know if it's not in the oven, you're supposed to cover it, but it's not, it's cut. How do you cover it if it's in the oven? Foil? Did you get your, as soon as I hit record, he was chowing down. I just realized I should probably turn that light so it's not shining right into his face. Oh yeah, no swimming. Not tonight, Tuck. Sorry. Everything's getting very quiet. You can tell the storms are rolling in, the cool front's moving in. I'm hanging out outside as long as I can because it's not going to be like this again for a long time. I was thinking about doing a time lapse, but something wet just hit my arm. Well, no. Okay. No time lapse. That's weird. Doesn't look like it's ready to rain yet. Is this... Have we found something exciting to do yet? I don't think so. We're still... This is still a mess. Hmm, did I mention I put a bowl of water in the oven with the dough? Is that what you're supposed to do? Is that how you proof in the oven? Good boy, Tucker. This is a good example of things I could Google. Um, oh, I think the storm just started blowing in. Look at all the flowers flying off the trees. And then that's happening. This just like literally out of nowhere. It was totally fine and just, I should get that towel. Look at this, this is nuts. Look at those trees. Fine, let's be storm chasers. Another palm tree down over here. Fans. Spinning fan. Ain't got no power. It's funny, just looking through here, you would think that it's just beautiful. I mean, it kind of... Okay, there's stuff flying in my eyes. Okay, here we go. Look! Dough! Isn't that exciting? It's even, it's got that nice little bounce to it. Worked out okay. I thought the recipe I was following may have been trolling me because it wanted me to use two and a quarter teaspoons of, no, tablespoons, two and a quarter tablespoons of sugar to uh, um, the yeast, which is, that's a lot. That's a lot of, that'll make it taste very yeasty. So I ignored that part because I was like, that's not gonna taste. Anyways, I'm not hungry anymore though. So I'm probably just gonna like have some noodles. That ever happened to you when you like, you do all this cooking and you're like, eh, I don't want any more. Cover with that with saran wrap. I don't know why this is even happening right now. I'm gonna do some yoga first though. This is one of the like fun things that's been going on, on Instagram, Colton Wong, second baseman, uh, Cardinals baseball and then uh, one of his friends been like live streaming yoga sessions seven o'clock central time every Wednesday and it's actually a lot of fun getting to do yoga at home with um some professionals and whatnot yeah I'm gonna go get my three-legged dog on and have some noodles how far are we into this vlog and nothing's happened yet I'm sorry yeah, good morning Tuck it was a long night bye Tucker yeah uh, looks like the storm blew the water right out of the fountain not really the palm tree fell on it and I checked it to make sure that there wasn't anything running through but I'm guessing the water must have been running through the down the you get it right I need to refill the fountain exciting stuff going on uh, uh, moth to a 
flame. I almost said moth to a fly. Do moths fly into flames? Light. They like light. I get that saying now. Just a, a, a few things that need to be picked up. This windmill palm came down. It looks like it may have broken some branches over here on this pindu. Do you say pindu or do you say pindo? I've heard both. Oh no, don't smash things. There we go. Yeah, that's not ideal, but it's okay. It just came outside. It'll flush back out. I'm, surra I'm like surrounded. Let me get out of here. Now what I was getting ready to say is it's getting ready to do its spring flush. So that's not the end of the world. The lighting today is very odd. Things are kind of yellowy. I don't know what that's about. The sky is just kind of a weird hue right now. Like those look orange. They're bright pink. Things are just weird. Uh, oh, the Pindu. This one has decent blue color to it. But you can't tell right now because the sky's being weird. There's my head. See my head? And another palm tree to be picked up. I don't know what he's smelling down there. I don't think I want to know. There we go. All is right in the world again with Tucker. You got your water. Can you refill your Tucker hump? That's me referring to Tucker as a camel. So I was drinking that water. The older he gets, has something to do with his meds, makes him thirsty. But he's, yeah, he's happy. So what I was thinking about doing I know previously I said there's no point in cleaning this fountain out but also like just why not right I may as well do it would have been smarter to do it yesterday it got up to 91 degrees it's now 48 so that would have been a smart thing to do then but it's just, I mean it's something to do out here other than clean I've been doing a lot of cleaning I'm just I want to do something different although this is technically cleaning Eh, can't hurt. I'll go ahead and get a sponge and some soap, get it cleaned up. So, <laughs> as always, managed to make things way more complicated than they need to be. I shouldn't say as always. Don't beat yourself down like that. There's no reason to do that. Well, I spent a long time messing with the pump. Here's the pump. And uh, it was really difficult last year setting this up and getting the fitting on here to fit the tubing that's what i was trying to say and uh, it wouldn't work i just could I, no matter what i did i couldn't get the pump to work that happens sometimes i brought it in for the winter and uh, you know impellers go bad you have to change them out and it's not a very expensive pump although from my experience expensive pumps don't really seem to last that much longer than super super cheap ones well it turns out <laughs> it wasn't plugged in so i just spent 30 minutes messing with that for nothing and then now have a drip coming from the hose so i need to tighten that so uh, I, basically what happened is I have this other pump right here and uh, it has a male thread on it. That pump has a female thread. Here's the fitting. So I had to go dig around the garage and find a connector so that I could use this pump instead. But it turns out I don't need to do that, which is fine because this pump isn't as strong. So I'm not going to use that. And then my head went down into the rabbit hole of, well, why not set this up with this nice faux concrete, beautiful pot right here? Originally, the way this was set up, you know, there were palm trees on each side and all the tropicals with the fountain in the back. And then this was right in front of it with a tropical water lily in it. But I kind of like the idea of the fountain coming out of this and actually being up on the patio instead of in the back there. And long story short, I'm not going to do that. I decided this isn't the time to make drastic, stupid decisions right now. But my thinking was, well, I could put the tropical water lily in the lotus bowl this year because I'm pretty sure I killed the lotus. I got ahead of myself. I don't think I should have brought that out when I did. It's not looking good. But I'm going to give it some more time, see what happens. It is what's supposed to drop below 40 here, I think even tonight. So I'll probably go ahead and just put that back into storage. There are hardy water lilies in here that are just starting to wake up. Those will go elsewhere. This isn't very deep for a water lily, though. So... And that, that, that's what happened there. My brain started doing this spin and then this started taking way longer than it should have. Things are starting to feel more normal now, aren't they? Getting back into vlog mode. Okay, I'm liking it. Now I just need to fix this gigantic mess I've created over here. Just did another dumb thing. Got this all cleaned out and put back together. I lowered it down by one brick just because I figure I'm gonna be taking it apart again in not too long. Except something else I wanna do with this area that I'll talk about later at another time, different vlog. But I didn't ever plug that pump in to actually make sure that it did work. I just discovered, oh, I hadn't plugged it in and then proceeded. So here's hoping that that wasn't a gigantic mistake. Hmm. Crisis averted. By crisis, I mean just having to swap the pump back out. I had already solved that problem, so it wouldn't really have been that big a deal since I have the adapter and the fitting to use the other pump. But it's, a, hey. I'm happy. And now my favorite part, just standing here and waiting for it to start going over the edge. 
Oh, and if you are one, it's still very windy. So I could see that could be disturbing. Hopefully it's not coming through on the mic too terribly strong. But uh, the situation here is just a pond basin. I think it was like 20 or 30 bucks from like Lowe's and Home Depot. Then there's a cinder block, which is what that is right there. I chiseled one of the sides out of the cinder block there so that I can run the pump underneath it without having to smash the cord or smash any tubing because there's a tube that you can kind of hopefully still see in here. See it? Where'd it go? Yeah. So that tube just runs through the drainage hole of the pot. Again, hard to see. I'm sorry, I'll back up. Does that help? A little bit? Maybe not? You get the points. What is this? One, two, three, four, five steps. Really simple process. Basin, brick, pump, hose, pot, easy. And it would be helpful. One of the reasons I didn't put this up onto the other brick is because I'm thinking when it's safe to go out again or if I can find some online, I want to put some netting around the edge of that brick so that it keeps debris from washing in there because the debris that washes in there gets stuck in the pump then you have to pull the pump out and clean it. It's not that big of a deal but it would just be nice to just have a little netted screen in there that I could just scrape off throw the leaves and things out that fall in here that would make a lot more sense i know that this is probably pretty redundant because this just happened last week but like i said I'm not really doing much this week it's just kind of like a waiting game the next couple weeks it's just little things here and there and just like everybody else i'm staying at home playing with the dog so it's just the little it's just it's the little things right now oh and if you could if you wanted to if you wanted to step this up a notch and have more efficiency out of your pump that hole where the tube's running through you could find a piece of pipe that fits that size hole put that in there and put some epoxy around it because then you don't have backflow so what happens here is with a tall pot like this the pressure eventually gets to a point where it gets harder and harder like the bottom half of this fills up very quickly then the rest takes longer and longer and longer because of gravity working the water back down through what's not sealed in the hole in the bottom of the pot but i don't want a ton of flow over the edge here i just want like a very nice gentle trickle for the most part it's supposed to be subtle so i'm okay with it like this i'm going to adjust that pump though because it's not I do like for it to at least come out the front, not just out the side like that. That is going to drive me crazy. <sighs> Whew, still staying busy. I started consolidating all of my old pottery and whatnot and getting like my potting supplies together. I've been like on this half, half this half of that table, then potting things this spring. And then on the other side, it's like all just broken stuff that needs to be glued back together and fixed. Um, but I had like a whole bunch of hanging baskets and things like that that were just full of annuals last year. And so what I've done is I've started to fill up this old pot here. I think it's a 25 or 30 gallon pot. And then I have a giant hole that I need to fill. It's up there. There was a white pine there and we had a storm last year and blew that over, took out part of the fence. And there's just a big giant gaping hole up there. So I figure I should, that would be a good place to store the soil. Yes, no, yes so. All the old root balls and stuff like that, I can keep it tilled up as best as I can. and. Then if I need to, I can get, just go up to go up the hill and dig out my hole and get more soil. I don't. It's. I think it works. It's the best thing I can come up with for right now. Huh, really didn't think this one through. I have to get this all the way up there. Isn't this pretty? I mean, it's not a great thing to see, but just I feel like that's where like the little toadstool people and fairies play. I don't know how this doesn't. I should have used a smaller pot. Oh, by the way, that's what came off of Toby. I made sure to clean up the hair. I wondered last year if maybe the reason the flies were really bad was from all the dog hair. Eh, just a thought. See, these pots have these holes in them and it says, I don't know if you, can you read? Let me flip it around. Is that better? It says punch here, basically. And there's just a picture of someone with a little screwdriver and they're just pushing down. Is it that easy? Yes, yes, it is that easy, except well, I can't get my, I need the, okay, it didn't really work, but it kind of worked. I need to go through and do that so I can get these all stacked up and flip them upside down. It's easier to have a hole in the bottom when stacking them because then you don't have to worry about them suctioning together and getting stuck. There we go. My gosh, this wind is insane. See another hole in this umbrella. The other umbrella, there was a different one on this table that got destroyed by wind not too long ago. This is incomplete but it's where it needs to be for right now. I can't really do much more with this at this moment. So that's good enough. I did some picking up and some tidying. I have pots and potting things organized so I can kick things off with that when the weather picks back up, which might be another couple weeks, but that's okay. And then now I just, this wind has me thinking that I should probably move my yard waste pile 
I don't know really what to do with all my yard waste. I've just been putting my clippings and things over here. There's a tarp over them. But the direction the wind's blowing, I feel like it's just, it's going to end up in the pool. So maybe I'll flip the tarp over. Thinking down over here, right above my finger, that little berm there, that might be like where I pile all the stuff. I don't, like, it's probably not interesting. I'm just, you know, trying to get stuff done. Yeah, that's so not happening right now. I went ahead and threw some bricks down on top of this. It's too windy. I couldn't even get the tarp to lay flat. And I broke my rake, which is, I mean, it's fixable. I think I can get this, like, rotten wood in there and then cut that. It's, it's not the end of the world. I can fix it. And it's okay. I still have baby rake. Baby rake is still here to save the day. I really love this thing. You can get into all the little nooks and crannies around everything. It's a very nifty rake. So bricks are there to hold that down. I think that's about it. That's about all I can get done before these storms start rolling in. So, I don't know, check back tonight. I don't know. Oh, pizza update. How could I move on with things without talking about that? So the crust is a little weird. Like I said, that yeast to sugar ratio just seemed weird to me. And I gave this as I spent a long time pulling on this. Right now I'm just giving it a minute to rest. I stretched this dough for a long time and it was like uh-uh I'm not moving anymore so you know sometimes you just give it a moment and it'll start behaving again <laughs> it doesn't really need to fill out the entire sheet pan I'm just like well it may as well and like I mentioned this dough so yeasty it's definitely there's gonna be a lot of rice in this and I also I don't have toppings there's a can of mushrooms and I have some bloody merry mix which might sound disgusting but I mean that's kind of close to pizza sauce and it might be delicious I don't know about the mushrooms, though. And I think I have a little bit of vegan cheese. Oh, exciting updates. I forgot that I had some frozen Beyond Sausage in the freezer. I had actually already cooked these. Then I had, like, one, and I didn't want the rest, so I put them back in the freezer, so I thawed them out. That may destroy the taste. I'm not really sure because they've been frozen for, like, a month and a half. Beggars can't be choosers. Listen, I'm not going to the grocery store. Haven't been in weeks, and so it's just, like, digging around, making it work. The sauce, actually good. Spicy, watery, but still good. And then uh, uh, cheese. One thing here. I mean, cheese. This one, yeah, that expired a pretty long time ago. But... There's no, like, mold or anything in it, and it, there's no, like, dairy or animal products. I'll open it up and give it a sniff and see what happens. This wouldn't be a good time to get food poisoning and have to go to a hospital or a doctor. I mean, I wouldn't. I'd just, you know, suck it up and deal with it. But this one back here, the BioLife, like, there's just, there's not much in there. I know, uh, I'm going to play around. This topping situation is going to be maybe gross. I'm not sure. Barbecue sauce may have been a better option, but I only have like half a bottle of barbecue sauce left and I'm holding on to that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and try and make this. Wish me luck. And one thing I hadn't considered was it's probably like way too echoey in here. I apologize for that. Should I put this on top of the cheese? I'll do a little bit above and a little bit below. That's not going to hurt. That's not spread out very evenly though. I need to do something about that. Just kind of try and redistribute that. I wasn't really paying attention to be honest, it's just, you know, how things go sometimes. Use the hand. Hand will work much better. There we go. Kind of. It's good enough. <laughs> Give that a sniff for me. How does it smell? Does it smell okay? I think it smells fine, surprisingly. So, like, it doesn't, there's no sourness to it or anything like that. It just smells like fake cheese. Which isn't, if you're wondering, not the most exciting smell. It's pretty much not even a smell. But it's better than nothing. Beggars can't be choosers. Okay, maybe went a little bit heavy with the toppings. But listen, the idea here is to be able to just have, like, a slice at a time and keep this in the fridge. Maybe even freeze some of it and make it last as long as possible. Okay, this came out not so bad. The thing with vegan cheese is the amount of time it takes to melt it sometimes exceeds how long it takes to cook other things. So <laughs> crust is a little bit overdone. That's okay. It still seems like it's going to be soft underneath, so it's okay. Would you please stop it? This one, it's morning. Hi. Next day. See? Sunlight. Morning. This one, you've been climbing up the blinds, and she goes up here and starts playing with the cabinets. Just has a great time. You do this? Oh my goodness. Oh, so See that? 
soon as she puts her head on there, she's looking down inside of it. She loves looking in the cabinets. That's like probably her favorite thing to do. Oh, oh my goodness. What's in there? It's just full of all kinds of goodies, right? No, it's full of dangerous cap- <gasps> No, have you been chewing on the cabinets? Okay, parrots are destructive. That's not news. So what, you better, hey, excuse you, you see that? See that corner? She's been chewing on the cabinet. You need to move your head if you want to keep it. I gotta close it, there we go. Um, I'm actually gonna try and figure out something to do up here so that she stops going up there because now that she's chewing on the cabinets, it's not cute anymore. Don't destroy the furniture. Yeah, I mean, it's parrots though. They're always needing enrichment. I have tons of toys and I swap them out throughout the week, <laughs> which helps. But sometimes I'll be sitting in the kitchen or in the other room and you just hear, You hear that? Like, you, it'll go on for like 15, 20 minutes. Just does it all, just nonstop. I'm sorry, was that your game? Did I take your game? So bad. I love those birds, but they can be destructive. Gosh, it just looks like there's a like landfill behind him. I'm looking forward to like really getting all that stuff picked up, but I don't really have a place to do potting, like bulk potting. I have a lot of bulbs and rhizomes and things I need to get going with, so that'll be there for a couple weeks probably, unfortunately, but it's it's fine for right now. I'd much rather have all my pots and things laid out here right now than like when I'm actually spending a lot of time out here when the weather's nice. Just makes sense for right now. Toby? Oh my goodness, always something coming out of that mouth. Didn't that come out just stinking adorable? I think it actually would have looked a lot better to just use like three eggs instead of <laughs> one of each color, but I couldn't make up my mind, so I put them all in there. Then spent a ridiculous amount of time trying to make them look random, and then I was just like, you have to stop, just stop, walk away, it's fine. It's not like it's not even a permanent thing. The pansy I'll probably leave in there until the weather gets too hot and I have to move it to somewhere in the shade, but otherwise, like those eggs, those aren't gonna stay outside this whole time. I had them in that vase inside and I thought they looked cute. How you doing, Tuck? You good boy. You good boy. It's a nice day, isn't it? I mean, it's not warm by any means, but it's not frigid. It's like 50 something. I'll take it. It's could be a lot worse. At least it's not windy and raining and whatnot. The power's back off over here though. Don't know why. Checked all the breakers. Everything's fine. And can I have to figure something out there? I should use this time at home to figure out some things with electricity, but you know, makes me nervous. I can do like little things with it, like changing out like outlets and stuff like that, but figuring out the electrical that goes through the ground and everything, eh, I don't know, that kind of freaks me out. Just filmed so much and wasn't even recording. What I was saying was I went ahead and pulled my perennials and annuals together. Like I have a lot of things down here that are still coming up from last year that have a spot where those are going to go in the garden, but I put them all together because it got pretty darn cold and I wanted to be able to throw a frost cloth over everything. And uh, it was fine, got down to 33, the frost cloth seemed to do the trick. I think having the warm pavement underneath everything makes a very big difference. And it helps that like a couple days ago, it was in the 90s, it was like 91, then it was 89 the day before. So that really helped warm up the surroundings for everything that gets re-released at night and helps protect everything. So that all worked out okay. I think pleasantly surprised with like the lobelia and the sun impatience and then the petunias down here in the front. They didn't skip a beat. And the petunias usually in the fall can take fairly cold temperatures like frost isn't great for them but generally around like 38 or so they actually usually are okay at least these um vista bubble gums have always been okay for me it's actually in the sun patients too i've noticed those can go a lot colder than just your regular like shade impatience what are the wall wallerianas those yeah those that's what i was trying to say it's a cloudy day i'm not going to do anything out here today just kind of wrapping up my week and getting other things done around the house but would you look at this bacopa oh my goodness that has gotten so beautiful but also neither here nor there there's some creeping jennies coming up and lots of other things do more about the perennials and whatnot i still have like a huge section of them over on the other side of the patio 
with things that are coming back from last year that need to be repotted. Like other things like a steel bays and some Asclepius and those sorts of things. It does look like there may have been a little bit of damage to the foliage here on this banana. Sorry, foliage. Don't tell me how to talk. I'll say it wrong on purpose when you start doing that stuff. I'm a Taurus. We're stubborn people. Maybe a little, but the spear coming out the middle is okay. The pseudo stem or trunk, it's really a pseudo stem, that looks okay. And all this other bad looking foliage down here, that's just old dying off foliage. So I'm not worried about it. Things did okay. Oh, and I also came over here and just piled a bunch of mulch up around this queen palm because it just got blown over. I was like, this, that's going to hold it up. It's doing fine now. It's not going anywhere if it gets hot out though wouldn't want that there because it's going to hold a lot of moisture in around the base of that trunk but it's not going to be hot for like a week or two so those are fine i think everything else out here is the same nothing's changed uh, anything that's going to change will happen in next week's vlog that'll be you know next week oh uh, new leaf who this i just realized we haven't done like any houseplant stuff in this video at all i haven't really been doing much with them i kind of I think I talked about that at the beginning of the vlog. It's kind of the time of year where it's more of just like a waiting game. I will say though, um, when making pizza, would have been great to remember that I have basil, a lot of basil. There's basil cuttings in here, and then that whole entire amazel basil plant outside. But uh, I don't think any of the toppings I use would have gone well with basil. But in the future, since um, I don't have cheese and i'm not going to the store until there's like no food left in the house or i mean to feed the pets i may have to but it's been over three weeks since i've left the house i am getting a little bit stir crazy but that's okay it's worth it uh but what i was gonna say is i could do the same thing even without cheese with some basil infused into a sauce i think it would still be very good uh, especially because like vegan cheese it doesn't really taste like much it's more of a texture thing if you can even get it to melt so that would have been delicious but uh otherwise plants are it's just you know same old same old over here i need to trim this green onion up i haven't been using much of it so it's growing like crazy but you can see it's got some old growth down here never throw away your green onions you can cut those up and as long as you have the roots down below and then like a good probably inch or so of the white you can drop that right into water or plant it up and it will grow and you just you just cut it off whenever you need some green onions you just make some cuts there it's like i haven't bought green onions in forever this has been going for a very long time you can see it's a little sad right now because i haven't they don't have like a lot of stuff to like have a culinary fun time with so uh, haven't really been eating anything that would pair well with much with green onion or you can dry those out dry those little bases out and save them for like stock and stuff like that nifty thing green onion can go a long way with some green onion the plants are still i mean they're just chilling not much to report on other than hey new leaf how exciting and uh, oh what about the poblanos though those they need to be repotted i'll show you that's a, that's a problem going on out there it's having some struggles i'll go show you yeah everything's good there's the basil definitely needs a prune I think i said that last week but it's like up there so that's going to get a very big cut back here next week i'm going to be doing more stuff with the uh, house plants because it's going to be cold i'll be spending more time inside but uh, look at this poblano look at it she just fell right over so it's not only time to restake it it just needs a whole new pot but i will say these are ready to go at least a few of them are so i'm going to pop some of those off here uh i'll it'll i'll do that in next week's vlog probably and some of them are still kind of hard but even though it's uh crooked like this it's okay because it's got that wicking cord under it i mean it's not okay this is not good this is bad this is not how we grow plants but it's not like the end of the world it's still getting moisture so it's still growing uh once this video is once uh, like i wrap this up and get it edited that'll probably be the first thing i do is come out here and get this repotted because it clear i mean look at clearly it needs it i was going to spend a little bit more time walking around out here looking at the plants but uh, there's like four wasps flying around the ceiling. I don't really want to be out here. I'll probably go ahead and crack the door open and hope that they fly out and get out of here because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not messing with that. Nope. Yeah, where'd they go? Where'd the wasps go? Okay. I'm not losing my, I have been home for a long time. Okay. You can kind of see, see, I think that they're like trying to get underneath that foil insulation stuff that's up there or the reflective barrier. I should say it's not really insulation that's not good you can't have wasps nests out here that's a uh, hazard i love my pollinators bees and 
all of them, but um, I don't do aggressive ones, and this would be a very bad time to get stung by a bee and find out you're allergic and have to go to a hospital. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'll probably um, spray some Pepsi. <laughs> Every time I feel like a leaf or something touch my leg, I'm worried it's a wasp. I will probably tonight, or actually probably tomorrow early morning, I'll come out here with a spray bottle with a heavy concentration of peppermint oil in it, and I'll take that and I'll spray it like all around the ceiling and everything. Not necessarily to hit the wasps and kill them, but to have that really strong pungent odor to make them want to leave. Because if you use enough peppermint oil, it's pretty tough to bear that scent. It gets really strong, like it makes your eyes burn and everything. And the bugs just don't really like it. So uh, hopefully that will do the trick and move them on out of here. So I'm actually, I'm gonna wrap this up because I don't want to be out here any longer than I have to be. I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life. Gamer does not want to focus on the fish today. Look at how pretty these orchid roots are. I love a nice hydrated Vanda orchid with these really long, like crazy jungly roots. So cool. Um, yeah, things are rough right now. So hang in there, stay strong, stay home, please. It doesn't work. This doesn't work if people are out doing stuff that they don't need to be doing. Oh, this Jomanthi's looking good back there, just floating around, being its sexy self, doing much better than the one that's not and a floating pot. The one, <laughs> the potted one, I mean, it's doing okay. You can see it kind of poking out from back there. Things have just kind of gotten overgrown out here, really. So hopefully next week I'll get around to doing a bunch of watering, pruning, and all that. I said I was going to go. It's time to go. Uh, you know, the whole YouTube thing down there, I appreciate it. Makes a big difference for the channel. So thank you for that. Uh, again, I'll apologize about the chaotic randomness of this vlog, but it just is what it is. I'm sure you guys can relate. It's just things are different right now. So it's not like I just have a few tasks that I can do throughout the vlog. It's just lots of little things right now. And uh, this is kind of my mental escape. Hopefully it was your mental escape for a little bit. Take your mind off of things. Doesn't help if I'm standing here reminding everybody of it. So I'll stop with that. Oh, another new leaf. I never really give a crap about the new leaves. I mean, I do. It's exciting to see the plants grow, but some of them, when you've had them for a long time, it's like, yeah, it's growing. That's what the plants do. That's what you want to do is just keep growing. But, um, you know, winter time, it's not winter, it's spring, but the plants are still inside. It's exciting to see that growth because, you know, you just kind of never really know what's going to happen with them when they're inside. We do our best, but when you get a new leaf, it's like, hey, you okay? And I don't have to worry about you as much. Don't forget to comment down below and say hi. I love talking to everybody. What's everybody been up to? Hope you're staying busy the best that you can while being stuck at home. And everybody who's not stuck at home, who's out there and working, thank you. Uh, cashiers, medical professionals, everybody, like you're really keeping things growing and I appreciate you and I hope that you stay safe and hope everybody remembers the reason that we're staying home, practicing good hygiene and physical distancing from one another is for them, right? And for us, but it's also big part for them. I appreciate you and thank you so much. What's with the fish? Why doesn't the camera want to see the fish today? There we go. Focal length, that's the problem. Comment down below. Say thank you to everybody who's out there working. I know that some of y'all out there who watch these videos are nurses, doctors, and uh, cashiers, office management, you know, people who aren't able to stay home and are really, things are very risky and scary for you guys right now. So everybody stay well. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.